So today we're going to do a cold start and quick look at the uh, 89 Fifth Avenue. The uh, last year they uh, made this car. This one is a two owner with about 78, 400 on the uh, clock. It runs like a champ and I just took it to uh, Pennsylvania over the uh, weekend. Pleasure to drive, but I am trying to uh, sell it because I have too many cars and uh, I want to change to something else. Actually, I have uh, the set, I have the 89, and then I also have the uh, 79 over there. And interestingly enough, this car did replace that car, even though this was just a rebadged, restyled LeBaron, which became the New Yorker in 1982. In 83, it was called the New Yorker Fifth Avenue. And then from 84 through 89, it was called the uh, Fifth Avenue just the Fifth Avenue, as the uh, New Yorker went on to the uh, K-derived platform and front-wheel drive. So, let's get to it. It's very straight, very solid. Paint on the roof is uh, flaking off, that's it. Vinyl top is mint. Trunk is open, forgot to close that. And it really is a nice driving car. So let's get to it. So your door panels are in great shape. These always break on these, but not on this one. All four of them are intact. Original mat, power mirrors, windows, locks, cruise tilt. So as you can see, 78, 390. Nice gauge cluster, original Chrysler stereo. And because it's an 89, you have the airbag, which is pretty cool. Heat and AC are great. Overhead console with glasses, garage, temp and compass, and I'll show you right now. Fly is right up. Design dash with the knee bolster as the ashtray was moved over here to incorporate the airbag. Kicks right off the choke. Ashtray, windows work, beautiful pillow cushion leather with my cassettes, which yes, cassette player does work. Power seat with manual recline, which only became available on the uh, 88 model year. Whereas all years prior, the seat was just power without a recline. Everything works on here. The frost is nice, your wipers. Lighted. This was a luxury car, also set to compete with the Cadillac. So they did a pretty nice job on these. Trunk release, airbag warning. Beautiful car. Grab handles for the rear passengers. Reading lights. It's a nice car.
anyway. These cars sold very well throughout their lifespan. And this really was the last true rear wheel drive Chrysler made with the you know, typical V8. And it wouldn't be up until 05 that Chrysler would try to bring the uh, rear wheel drive back. Very straight down. Crystal hood ornament, I love the way when you're driving, the sun gleams through this. It just is beautiful at getting this car. So yeah, we'll shut her off. And... Opera lights do not work, unfortunately, electroluminescent. But anyways, for now, signing off.